to another Motivational Monday. Today we're going to be talking about playing to your strengths. Now, I know in a previous video, I think it was probably one of my first ones, I talked about fixing your weaknesses. Now, I feel like spending too much time on your weaknesses can wear you down, whereas looking into them and identifying what they are is okay. Now, spending more time on your strengths helps you renew your energy and find your flow. Now, <clears throat> strengths are the, the place where you can grow your best, find the things you can do all day that you really enjoy, and excuse, find excuses throughout the day to do more of that. Success builds on itself, and this helps you build momentum. Now, <clears throat> building momentum can build a lot of other things. It can drive more successful projects. It can drive more successful goals happening. But with everything that comes with success, there is also failure. Now, <clears throat> what I want you to do is try out the motivational techniques to see what works for you. Now, there's different motivational techniques. I'm not going to go further into that because today is more about playing to your strengths. But the point is, is there's things out there that can help motivate you. Um, some of the weaknesses that I have, for instance, is like playing on a mobile game or Xbox or whatever. And because the reason why I feel like that's a weakness is because I can spend a lot of time doing that and not really being very productive. Um, another thing is, is oddly enough, it can be a strength, but YouTube. Um, as you can see, I'm making YouTube videos. I'm trying to motivate and educate you guys, but at the same time, I could spend a lot of time on YouTube watching some things that I shouldn't be watching, like cat videos or uh, fail videos or whatever. But the point is, is sometimes a strength can also be a weakness. Now, that's not to say that you can't overcome your weaknesses. You can do that one of two ways. One way is to correct it and turn it into a strength, or you can take your strengths and overpower your weaknesses. Now, sometimes we just can't get rid of a weakness at all. You know, maybe you have a weakness for donuts and you just, no matter how hard you try, you cannot stop eating donuts. Well, one of the things you can do to overpower having a donut is to work out more, eat better most of the time, you know, drink more water, be a little bit more healthier so that when you have a donut once a week, it's not that bad. Now I use that analogy because there's some things out there that you could do that overpower a weakness because some weaknesses aren't entirely bad to where it's going to ruin your life. Some weaknesses are just you like to sleep an hour longer than most people. You know, but the thing is is really at the end of the day all motivation really comes down to is self-motivation and getting you better at motivating yourself and your self-awareness, building that self-awareness. Now, <clears throat> I say that motiv all motivation is self-motivation because it's true. Nobody's going to come in your bedroom, drag you out of bed, and say, I'm motivating you. You're going to look at them and go, why are you in my bedroom in the first place? The point is, is when you motivate yourself, you're not even realizing that you're motivating yourself a lot of times because you go on YouTube, or you read a book, or you listen to somebody on a podcast, and they say things that are inspiring and motivating and then a light bulb clicks on and you go, oh, that's what they're talking about. And then all of a sudden you motivate yourself to do something. That's what I mean by a lot of it's self-motivation because nobody's going to tell you what to do. Nobody's going to show you what to do 24 seven and they're standing next to you. You have to motivate yourself. Now, somebody may give you inspiring words. Somebody may motivate you through their actions. But ultimately, it's you that takes that action or that inspiring quote or whatever and uses it for yourself. You need to learn how to push your own buttons from the inside. You need to learn what your weaknesses are and what your strengths are. And then you use them to motivate yourself. Now, for me, there's a lot of times I get up in the morning and I am not motivated. I am like, I just want to stay in this bed. I don't want to see nobody. I don't want to do nothing. This bed is so comfortable, but I motivate myself. I get out of bed and I go, you know what? All the things that I need to do or that I choose to do, I have to do it. I need to get out of bed and I need to get going. There are times where I literally just sit with my eyes closed like this. 
and I think in here, and I get myself mentally prepared for what's to come. Now, a lot of times, I, f <laughs> I, I follow this, this law of an object in motion stays in motion. If you get moving, and you're constantly moving, and you're doing things, you're going to stay in motion. You're going to stay moving. That's one way that I motivate myself is just to get up and start going. Because once you're moving, once you're going, it's hard to stop yourself. Now, yes, you can be like, well, that's not hard. I'll just sit on the couch. Yeah, it's very easy. And that's another thing of an object at rest stays at rest. You sit on the couch binge watching Netflix, you're going to stay there because you're not going to want to get up and move. Because how easy it just be like next episode next episode next episode you just keep watching and i know because i've done it that's a weakness for me i will i love to binge watch netflix tv shows or whatever is on there you know because it's easy you just sit there and you do nothing but at the end of the day you have to motivate yourself you have to get up and do what needs to be done some of the strengths that i have is like I said, I can get up and get moving, and I can stay moving, and I can keep working and get things done. And at the end of the day, I'm exhausted, but you know what? That's the end of the day. That's the time to go to bed. The other thing is talking. I can talk your ear off. I can talk to anybody. It's very easy for me, just right now. I'm talking to you through this YouTube video. <clears throat> Excuse me. But the point is, is if you play to your strengths, a lot of times you can overshadow your weaknesses. So my motivational task of the week this week is I want to get people to proactively think about and write down a list of their strengths and their weaknesses, what they perceive them to be. And then what I want you to do, <clears throat> sorry, is I want you to tape or pin or put it up on the wall in either your bedroom or your bathroom. The first place you're going to see it when you get up in the morning. And I want you to go over that list, but I want you to ignore the weakness side. I want you to put, just look at the strength side. And I want you to think how you're going to implement those in that day and use them to your advantage to motivate yourself, to reach your accomplishments and your goals, to drive whatever project or assignment or whatever you have going on. And then at the end of the week, I want you to look at both sides. I want you to look at the strengths and the weaknesses. And I want you to see... How many times did you actually use those strengths? And then I want you to see the weaknesses and be like, and identify, wait, that came up, that came up, that never came up. Actually, that was a strength. And I want you to analyze yourself and look at these things and realize that you can overshadow those weaknesses without even realizing it. So that's what I got for you today. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, hit that like button. Um, if you, if it's your first time here, please subscribe. I would love to have you guys come back. I love everyone that comes and watches my videos and I hope you guys are getting stuff out of it. If you know somebody who could enjoy this video, get some information out of it, share it off to a friend. But, uh, ultimately I'm here for you guys to help motivate you, educate you and entertain you. I hope you all have a wonderful day and God bless.